Hello, good people. This is your guy, Mr. Educator, Mr. Communicator, Mr. Free Thinker, coming back at you live once again from the Lone Star State with another edition of the Media Mike Speaks. All right, good people. It is one minute past the hour, and yes, we are the voice of the everyday citizen. All right, good people. One of my subscribers sent me this story, and you would not believe what is going on in New York with their, their top medical profession. I would say professional or the top doc I would say so let's get to this story here because I have some things I have to say and let me tell you if I were a Hispanic woman or an African American woman I'd be upset about this but then again to each his own so let's get to this New York City's top health official sparked outrage for a series of tweets where she referred to whites as birthing people and blacks and Hispanics as mothers. I'm still trying to put that together. I'm, I'm, I'm still trying to understand her mental state for saying this. But let's continue. On March 23rd, Dr. Michelle Morse, the, medical, the first, first medical officer at the New York City Department of Health, tweeted about the expansion of a new citywide birth equity initiative. In her tweets, Morse, who also worked as the department's deputy commissioner for the Center for Health Equity and Community Wellness, refers to one group of moms by the woke term birthing people and blacks and Hispanics as mothers. So is she talking about, was it birth mother, birthing? I don't know which one is more offensive. If I was a woman, I'm saying. Oh, you are, those are birthing people. Those are mothers. So is it a birth mother or are you the mother who cares for the birthing people's kids? Is that what you're saying? Are you referring to black and Hispanic women as nannies? I don't know. You tell me, good people. I'm just, anyway, the urgency of this moment is clear. Mortality rates of birthing people, she keep using that word, are too high. And babies born to black and Puerto Rican mother, mothers in this city are three times more likely to die in their first year of life than babies born to to non-Hispanic white birthing people, she wrote in a tweet. So I don't know, so is the, so the, is the mother over the birthing people? Because a mother sounds more, that sounds more authentic than you saying a birthing person would sound more offensive. But I, I, I don't know. I don't know where she's going. I don't know. But you know, medical people in the medical field, they, 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 the mind is uh, kind of far out there. You know, in the galaxy far, far, far away. Where no mental capacity has gone before. Anyway, the tweets caused an uproar and Morse was accused of being divisive and separating mothers due to their race with white mothers falling into the birthing people category. It did <laughs> You just sound like something from outer space, like some people from another planet. Those are the birthing people. Okay, anyway, white mothers are called birthing people and black and Puerto Rican mothers are called mothers. This is someone saying here, your license to practice medicine should be revoked. One person angrily tweeted. <laughs> I concur. Someone else tweeted, wokeness poisons everything. While another person tweeted, if you're wondering why trust in the medical profession is rapidly eroding, this tweet is a great place to start. While another person tweeted, wait, I'm confused. Now, this one I like. Is it birthing people or mothers? You use both here. Are some mothers also birthing people, but not all birthing people are mothers? How does this work exactly? Please help me learn the difference. Uncle, <laughs> well, thank you. Thank you, whoever tweeted that. Now, a, uh, a spokesperson told the New York Post, called Morse tweet an oversight. Oh, you overreaching, really and said we apologize for the inadvertently gendering black and Puerto Rican birthing people. The tweets came after the uh, after they declared racism, the Department of Health declared racism and public health crisis in the city. Last June, the department passed a resolution declaring racism a public health crisis, setting the groundwork for an anti-racism agenda after the broad, the board pointed to the impact the pandemic has had on minorities on the nation's history of slavery. 
The resolution was approved by an 11-member board whose members are largely appointed by outgoing Mayor Bill de Blasio. But I guess this top health official, Morse, did not get that memo. To build a healthier New York City, we must confront racism as a public health crisis, stated Health Commissioner Dr. Dave A. Choke said. Now to add insult to injury, good people, did you know Jeff Bezos' ex-wife, right here, Mackenzie Scott, gave a record-breaking $275 million to Planned Parenthood to be used to help black women get abortions? It's true. So I guess someone or a certain group of people don't plan for African-American people to be here in the future and beyond, I might add. So the question is, is this a war on a particular race of women and a way to eliminate the future of a certain race of people? Things that make you go, hmm. But anyway, let me know what you think about this story, good people. This is ridiculous coming from New York City's top medical officer. And in my professional opinion, ma'am, Dr. Morse, you are an idiot. Until next time, this is your guy, Mr. Educator, Mr. Communicator, Mr. Free Thinker. Subscribe, share, and like to keep me rocking on the mic. Have a good night. They'll understand you soon, it won't be long. Keep on, keep on.